Today we are making chicken rara or mutton rara. It doesn't matter which meat you add to the name of the dish, it's a vegan version. So it's a vegan chicken rara or a vegan mutton rara. It's a North Indian dish and it has tons of spices. So you definitely want to try this sauce. Make it and keep it in your freezer so that you have your meal ready in 30 minutes by adding whichever protein or veggies to it. This dish has its own spice blend called the Rara Masala Blend where we take a couple of whole spices and toast them lightly and then blend them up and use that in the dish. We add it to the sauce as well as use it as a finishing spice and that's why it's important to toast the spices. The untoasted spices don't get a chance to cook if you just blend those up and use them for finishing. They will have a lot more stronger earthy or a specific spice flavor like fennel might shine more than the others and stuff. So you want the flavors to kind of melt. So definitely toast the spices, blend them up and keep them ready to use in this rara curry. The origin of this dish is not really clear. There is a story that it's from the Lucknowi Avadi cuisine. There are some, you know, princesses and uh, princes involved. And then there is another story that it is from the Punjabi or Himachal region. Either which way, it is. it has all these spices that are often used in North Indian cuisine so if you have a pantry that has these spices you can definitely make this. I took inspiration from a couple of chef's recipes for this vegan version like chef Ranveer Brar, chef Kunal Kapoor and Sanjot Kheer and a couple of other rara recipes that I found on YouTube. The way you treat a regular meat-based dish is a bit different when you're dealing with vegetables or a vegan version. The meat or the chicken is usually simmered for a really long time in the sauce to pick up the flavor. But if you do that with tofu or a vegan chicken substitute, it doesn't really get to the same texture or flavor. So what we do is add the spices to the tofu and bake it to get a better texture and then simmer it in the sauce. If you're using a vegan chicken substitute like seitan or soy curls, you definitely want to simmer it in the sauce for a long time to pick up all of that delicious flavor. This is a part of my series where I take a lot of these meat heavy and spice heavy dishes and convert them into vegan versions. So all those dishes usually have all those elements of multiple layers of flavor, multiple sauces, multiple spice blends. So why not add all of those sauces and spices to the veggies, to the vegan meats, to the chickpeas, to the dals and beans. So that's what we're doing in this series. We're taking all of those delicious sauces and decadent sauces and curries and making vegan versions of it. Sometimes we're using tofu, sometimes we're using beans, sometimes we're using chickpeas, seitan or whatever other protein. But everything is basically in the sauce. Make that sauce and use whichever protein that you want. You can just add roasted veggies to it for this decadent veggie side. So let's make this rada curry. Let's do some of the whole spices. That's some black cardamom, two green cardamoms, some cloves, fennel seeds, and black peppercorn, and a bay leaf. Close them until the fennel seeds start to kind of change color and then just switch off the heat. Add the nutmeg now. We don't want to toast the nutmeg with the whole spices. So the bay leaf is not fully powdered yet. You want the bay leaf to be powdered. That is much better. It's all powdered. So that's our protein tofu. This dish has both like pieces of the meat as well as minced meat in the sauce. So for that, we're using um, a three quarters of the tofu block as the bigger protein pieces. And then we're going to crumble up the rest to act as the minced meat. You can just make uh, all of the whole uh, tofu block as big pieces or uh, crumble up in the entire tofu block, whichever way you prefer. To this tofu, we're gonna add some salt, garlic powder, and cornstarch. Some of the rara masala blend that we made. Add half of this blend that you made earlier. And since you want some color in the protein, let's add some kashmiri chili powder in the thing as well. Just toss it all up to coat. And then you can bake this or pan fry it. That's her protein. Now we make the sauce, heat up a little bit of oil, then add the cumin seeds first. And if you've been watching my videos, you'll know the cumin seeds are gonna take a while. 
to get nicely golden brown and fragrant patience is key here you really want those cumin seeds to get nicely toasty once the cumin seeds are done add your other whole spices that's the cinnamon stick and the black cardamom toast those up just for a few seconds then add in the onion Put the onion down until golden and then proceed to the next step. A little bit of water, all of the ground spices, the green chili, and the ginger garlic paste. And once the ginger garlic has kind of cooked a bit, I'm gonna add the tomato puree. Then add the crumbled tofu because we want the tofu to pick up all of those spices and some of the sauce. So for that for a few minutes. Rara usually has no cream element. It's just a lot of thick sauce with the meat. But if you like more of the sauce, just add more water, broth or non dairy milk. You could also use veggie grounds instead of the crumbled up tofu for your minced meat element or some lentils, cooked lentils. We'll fold in our protein. So the color of the sauce depends on, of course, your tomato puree as well as the Kashmiri chili powder. Depending on the brand, the color payoff might vary. So it might be really, really fiery red or just about red. Now we'll finish this dish with our Rara Masala blend. That's our finishing spice. Absolutely delicious. And yeah, switch off your gas and not cook down that spice. Just want to use it for kind of garnish. And then some cilantro and we're good to go. That's gorgeous and super delicious tofu rara. Let me know in the comments if you try this recipe and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, if you have any other regional Indian dishes that you would like veganized, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.